we're going to take a look at Adobe Express and talk about how we can revamp our YouTube channel. This is Express. I want to make um, something for social media. So I'm going to click there. We can hit this plus sign at the top left. So I'm going to go YouTube banner and we have all sorts of options. I think I'm going to roll with this and see what we can modify. So I'm going to just retype this sketch a day with YouTube, even though the banner is a certain size. When you're designing the banner, you want to make sure you have the important stuff kind of in that top section. So if you want to add an outline again, for me, that's more on brand with what I do. And I'm going to go ahead with the italic version. If you pay attention to the recommended section, it's like having a little design buddy with you. Since I do more than drawing, maybe I call this sketch and make. Let me go ahead and duplicate this and paste. If you go down in the text window, not only can you add a shadow or change the shape or animate the text, but there's also text effects. I can type cardboard and I'm going to hit generate. Yeah, so now I have this little cardboard part of That's Sketch really and Make. Cool. <laughs> if you want to replace your background, you can do that as well. I can hit upload from device. So I can just drag and drop that and there it is in Express. Okay, so I do want to make the text pop a little bit. So I'm going to go back. We can go to shadow and I'm going to, I like the strong shadow. You can even change the color of the shadow. I might say Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Since this is a little bit hard to read, maybe I'll switch the color here. With the images, there's other options. We can go to effects. I've been playing with Duotone a lot. So I'm going to take this headshot that I have here. I'm going to drag that in. I'm going to go to remove background so I can hit erase. I'm going to use some shapes to kind of obscure the edge. So if I go into elements, there's all sorts of stuff we can use. And then when I go into effects and the Duotone, maybe we'll roll with that. Another way to do it is under elements, you have a bunch of stuff you can pick from. Let's see, I've got this little pentagon here. We can scale. If you hold Alt on the keyboard, it'll duplicate that object for you. You can make it a specific color. Like I said, I kind of like that yellow. I'm just going to search for a light leak. Take something like this one and drop it on. We could scale it up and get even more colorful. And then you can kind of play with the blending modes if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I worked on another version of this that I'll pull up. So maybe I've got something like this. I can now go resize. And maybe I want to turn this into an Instagram post. And I want to also make a reel. When I hit duplicate and resize, it actually oh. duplicates everything for you. Let's start with the square sketch and make. Now let's go ahead and take an element of shape. I'm going to take the circle, scale it down, and let's change the color a little bit here. Because this is an Instagram post, it can be animated. I want this to be looping and I want it to blink. I've got my iPad Pro here. I want to tweak something or maybe I just want to modify. Well, I can do that in Adobe Fresco. So I've made a couple quick changes and then now in Express, boom, there we go. You see that blue thing at the bottom? That's, wow. a, that's Adobe magic. Oh. Express is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Your linked asset's been changed. I'm like, yo, ah. you, saw, you saw me. So now if I hit update, it's actually going to update and you'll see the shadow has come in there. And now we'll go into my Instagram story. There is something cool you can do on Fresco. I have this sketch. So if I hit the share button and go to preview time lapse, I can actually make a time lapse of my whole drawing. I can drag the video in. Uh, let's put it behind everything. So now when I hit play, we should have all of this play together. Oh, wow. OK, so let's go to elements. Um, we'll go to design assets. Uh, paper. I'm going to use this one because I think it'll work. Um, right click, <laughs> send to the back. If I change the blend ah, mode, now ah. I have my sketch that I did in Fresco on paper. This isn't really holiday. All right, I'll show you something easy. I made this little <clears throat> string with one light. And all of this I created in Illustrator, right? I already have them in my library. So if I go to brands and libraries, there's my lights. I'm going to drop this little guy in. And then if I go back to my stuff, I have this little gray glow that I created. With my image selected, I can now go to effects and I'm just going to pick a random color and animate this so that it's looping. Let's do flicker, drag in my little holiday light string and we'll duplicate these lights. When you're ready, all you have to do is hit download and now I can export that. Yeah, thank you. I learned so much. Thanks, man. Oh, thanks guys for watching.